and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. We're going to talk today about the plies in yarn and what exactly yarn plies are and why you need them. Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. The word ply, P-L-Y, is something that appears all over the yarn industry. We're not really sure why it's there or why it's important or why we even need to consider it when we're knitting, but it is certainly something that's worth considering. If you'd like to just dive that a little bit deeper and understand what you're knitting with that little bit more, this is a great video for you because it's just going to help you pick and choose your yarn in just a slightly more focused way so that you get the right yarn, get the right effect when you finish your knit. I'm going to sit at the table and show you more about this now. Right then, let's talk yarn plies. When it comes to making yarn, the process is, to put it in simple terms, spinning fibres together to make them into a long thread. This, for example, is the simplest of yarns because it is just what I described. It is a set of fibres spun together to make a twisted thread. That's it. It is that twisted fibre. Now, that is known as a single ply yarn because there's only one thread making up the yarn. When it comes to other yarns that you can go and look at and it will be described as something else, it will be a multiplied yarn because you will notice if you untwist the end that there are multiple threads twisted together to make that single yarn for you. So there you go. That one is known as a three-plied yarn. It's a multi-plied yarn. This is where the complication comes in because you will find yarn being categorised by plies, but it doesn't really count anymore. If you go and look at my yarn playlist, which I will link here, you will notice that I talk about four ply yarns in one of those videos. And four ply yarns um, is pretty much the only term we come across which is talking about the thickness of the yarn and describing it by the number of plies. You don't see that very often anymore, but in the UK we describe a thin yarn as four ply yarn. This is an old standard. So the smallest yarns used to be described as single ply, and then the thicker yarns had more and more and more plies in them. So that's how the day were described, but it doesn't really talk about how a yarn is made up anymore. You can find yarns with different numbers of plies, but they'd be the same thickness. So let's talk about plies, not in terms of thickness today, but in terms of what these plies do, what these different threads of yarn spun together actually do when they make a yarn. So we're going to look at the single ply yarns that I've got sat here first. Now this one is a very loosely spun thread and if I actually untwist it and I just tug on it a bit, it will tear. So when you're knitting with single ply yarn, most of the time you have to be careful that it is still um, twisted when you're knitting with it. Otherwise it will tear and it will break very easily, just like that. You don't want to do that all the way along the yarn or you will never you won't have any yarn left so keep it twisted but that also means that it's quite a tight yarn this is quite a fluffy one so it feels quite nice when I'm knitting with it I actually really like this yarn 100% wool really comfortable to knit with and I like the result that I get at the end of it but it is quite tight so there's not a great deal of elasticity in it but it is very strong once that fiber is twisted together so that's the first one now this one looks very similar. It's got a slight colour change in it, but again, if we untwist it, it is just one single set of fibres twisted together to make that single yarn. Now, if I untwist it, like I did with the purple one, you will notice that it will still break up, but actually it takes a little bit more of a tug to do that. That, I reckon, because the fibres are slightly longer. So 
This feels a lot stronger and there's a bit more elasticity to it because the fibres are longer as it's made it up. It's got a bit more of a stretch to it as it's twisted. So it's, you will notice this as you pick up different yarns and different plies. This one is also a single ply. This is a chunky yarn from Rowan. And again, this is a single ply. And if I untwist it, this one again is made up of longer fibres, I think. there That takes a little bit longer, a bit more of a tug to untwist that and pull it apart. But still, you have the same thing. This one is a single ply yarn too, but it's made up of different type of yarn. That I can't break. And because it's single ply, it is extremely taut. If you knit with that over and over and over again, and you don't break it up with knitting any other yarn, you're actually gonna notice sores on your fingers probably, because there is no give in that type of yarn. It is still described as a single ply yarn, but it's, um, it's really a fashion yarn and you knit it up for particular reasons and you might knit it with another yarn to give that fluffy feel to a yarn that you would choose for, any, for another reason anyway. So those are the single ply yarns. Let's look at some double plied yarn. So these have got two plies in them. There we go. This one you can see at the end if I just untwist it. This is a very fuzzy yarn, so the fibres hold together really, really well. When they're twisted, they do not want to untwist. This is quite an old yarn. I don't think it's available anymore. I just keep hold of it. The yarn that I got left in this, because I quite like it for mittens. But these two are plied together, they're spun together, they are spun individually and then twisted together. See, that will break up just like the previous one would. If it was a single ply, that would break quite easily. But it's spun into two, so that's not gonna that's not gonna break. It's got a little bit more elasticity in it than the single ply yarns have because it's twisted over a single ply. Now this one, again, same thing. We have two plies, but if you thick, take hold of it individually, it will break. It will tear just previous, like it did previously. So there you go. But as a pair, it's a lot, lot stronger. And it's got a bit more elasticity to it as well. This is, um, that's one of the things you want to look for. So it's stronger and it's got more elasticity. The other thing that you will look for if you find yarns like this one that's got more plies, this one has even got more plies than that. The elasticity and the strength will grow. Um, elasticity does depend a lot on the fibre as well, so just be aware of that. If you're using, say, a cotton, or like I showed you with this, this is extremely tight. This is a mixture of merino and cotton. But this has got, let me count them, one, two, three, four, five. This has got six plies making up this yarn. So the more plies you have, this is very bouncy yarn as I just pull on it there. It's really comfortable to knit with. So it's got the strength, it's got the elasticity. But what this also has, as does this because it's got more plies in it, is stitch definition. That is one of the biggest points that you want to note when you're talking about plies. The more plies, generally speaking, if the fibre works along with it, then the better the stitch definition. This is knitted up with a three ply yarn. It's the same as this, but it's a different color. And you can really see those cables really clearly, really easily, the shadows stand out, you can see the texture. That really gives stitch definition. And that is, like I said, that's one point that you might like to note when you're talking about plies. Remember the strength, increases with the multiple plies. That's pretty much a given depending on what fibre. Elasticity is increased with the number of plies. However, that may depend also on the fibre. If you're twisting plies together, it will have that more give because it's more like a spring with the more plies you have. And it will also give stitch definition. If it's a very, very fluffy fibre, it won't really matter how many plies you have. With the more plies, it will give a better stitch definition. But if it's um, something like this, 
or like this. Even this, if there were three or four um, plies in this, it would be even better stitch definition than it is now. But this is pretty good for stitch definition. It's a fluffy um, fiber and it's got two plies. That's a pretty good yarn already, but it just makes a big difference. So we're talking strength, elasticity and stitch definition. Does that feel slightly easier to understand now? You've got some ins inspiration there and just you can think about what it is that you're knitting with a little bit more and see whether you want to see the pattern, whether that's important or whether the yarn is more important for you in a different knit. So it can be really helpful if you're just going out choosing yarn, you've got a little bit more understanding and you won't feel quite so overwhelmed in the yarn shop. Right, if you do have lots of yarn stash hanging around, you can go and dive into that as well and research all of the different plies you have. If you want some help decluttering your yarn stash, then I'm here for you. We are doing a yarn declutter through April. All the way through April, I'm going to give you a, I'm going to send you an email every single week and it's going to help you organise your yarn stash one week at a time. Not all these massive jobs that you have to do in one weekend, I'm just gonna spread it out so you've got time to process and think about exactly what you want to do with the yarn that you've got, and time to get it out and actually see what you do have, rather than doing it all really, really quickly. So do sign up for the Yarn Declutter, the link is in the description below. I'll send you a couple of emails before we get started. You can also join the Facebook group where we're already, where we're already nattering about our knitting. I do hope you'll join me for that and I will see you next week where we can actually start thinking about this because I've got some tips for you on storing your yarn. Okay, I will see you again soon. Oh, thanks so much for joining me today. Happy knitting. <laughs>